Everybody loves Psalm 23, don't they? <laughs> the Lord is my shepherd. Everybody say, pick out your favorite psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Burn pastures, I shall repose, right? So God is the shepherd. You know, the shepherd who takes the sheep and puts the sheep on the back of the neck. You know, this is the warmest part of our bodies. So the shepherd puts the sheep on the back of the neck because the sheep might need to be warm. We know that God let uh, the story of leaving the, 90, leaving the 99 and going in search for the one. Yeah, we know that story, right? Okay. So God is shepherd. God is shepherd. Can you think of any other image of God that you might pray to? Let's see if I covered all the ones that I have. Okay. Gentleness and patience. God of gentleness and patience. All right, the Hebrew God, as I mentioned in the Old Testament, a stern God, ruling, judge, father, thunder and lightning on Mount Sinai. A God who turned Lot's wife into a pillar of salt for looking back at Sodom and Gomorrah. A God who told Abraham to sacrifice his son and then stopped in the nick of time. Okay. But then, this is one of my favorite images of God. God who walked in the Garden of Eden, the cool uh, God who walked in the Garden of Eden. Remember that story in the beginning of Genesis? We have God who walks in the cool of the evening with Adam and Eve. That's a great God to pray to, wouldn't it be? You know, somebody who walks with us. How about a God who compares the nation Israel to an adul adulterous wife whom God still passionately loves. God who's more uh, tenderness toward Israel than a mother has for a child in her womb. How about God who wants to share divine wisdom with every one of us? How about God as potter? You know that story in Jeremiah where they talk about God as potter, forming and shaping? Is that a good image? Okay. Okay, of all the images that I've thrown out, which one do you like? I'm going to go around and see which one you like. If I didn't say one, make one up. <laughs> okay? Okay. Uh, how about we begin here? <laughs> this is my friend from Allentown. <laughs>
just kind of a, an interesting image. But, you know, think about it, pray about it. Um, you know, think about it, pray about it, and, uh, and uh, see um, how you can continue to build this relationship. Okay? Uh, are we ready to see our um, uh, YouTube one Father James Martin? Okay? This is good. Okay, Catherine's leaving us. Bye, Catherine. Say, everybody say bye, Catherine. Bye, 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 bye Catherine. <laughs> I wish I could see. Okay, Father James Martin is, uh, has, he's going to tell us there are different, many different kinds of prayer styles, and um, but he's going to walk us through less, uh, the uh, Lexia Divina. Hi, this is Father Jim Martin. I'm an associate editor of Mayor Magazine, and author of My Life with the Saints. Uh, Father Gilbert, I'm going to pray with you today. Yeah. Um, and the first tip I have is that we talked about.
Okay, and Lisa, you can be a third reader. Okay, now, 